Is all our company here? You were best to call them generally, man by man, according to the script. Mary, our play is the most lamentable comedy and most cruel death of Pyramus and Thisbe. A very good piece of work, I assure you, and Mary. Now, good Peter Quince, call forth your actors by the scroll. Answer as I call you. Nick Bottom, the weaver. Ready. Name what part I am for and proceed. Nick Bottom, you are set down for Pyramus. What is Pyramus? A lover or a tyrant? A lover who kills himself most gallant for love. I can play that too. Now, name the rest of the parts. Francis Flute, the bellows mender. Here, Peter Quince. Flute, you must take Thisbe on you. What is Thisbe? A wandering knight? It is the lady that Pyramus must love. Nay, Faith, let me not play a woman. I have a beard coming! That's all one. You shall play it in the veil, and you may speak as small as you will. Hmm? I can play that too! must play Pyramus and flute, you Thisbe. Well, proceed. Snug the joiner? Here, Peter Quince. You the lion's part. Have you the lion's part written? Pray you, if it be, give it me, for I am slow of study. You may do it extempore, for it is nothing but roaring. I can play that too. Oh, I can play that too. Too terribly, you'd fright the Duchess and the ladies, that they would shriek, and that were enough to hang us all. But I'm allergic to rope. That's true, they'd have no choice. But I can lower my voice. Oh, I can roar as soft and sweet as a coo. I can play that too. You can play no part but Pyramus. For Pyramus is a sweet faced man, a proper man, as one shall see in a summer's day, a most lovely gentleman like man. Therefore, you must needs play Pyramus. I can play that too. I'm to entreat you, request you, and desire you to learn them by tomorrow night, and meet me in the palace wood a mile without the town by moonlight. There we will rehearse. We will meet, and there we may rehearse most obscenely and courageously. Take pains, be perfect. Now the world's escape! Two.